obviously I think that the change uh, is much needed in the industry, uh, taking away a lot of the confusion and ambiguity that's been there for many years and stipulating that this is how it has to be, that you can't do it any other way, um, is going to change, I think, the way that people look at cut resistance in the future and say that, all right, I'm comfortable with the number that's presented to me. I don't need to ask more questions about what type of machine was it tested on, where was the testing done, which method was it done with. It's pretty straightforward now. One thing that I worry a little bit about is that some people will think, well, immediately we have to go to the highest standard possible. And really, I don't think there's many industries out there that really need, are going to need an A9 6,000 gram cut glove. But maybe in, in meat packing, maybe in some automotive, um, there's a place for it. But I would say don't automatically jump to the conclusion that I, I say I was using an A4 or A5 before I got to immediately go to A9. No, you really got to think about, uh, about the adoption because I think the number one thing you have to remember is compliance and getting people to wear the gloves and keep them on all the time, that's still the most important thing. If it's not 100%, 100% sure, okay, ask us. Get the right people, we will sit down with you, we will send a professional, a trained professional to your location uh, and explain it over the phone or, or send somebody to you to uh, uh, make sure that you understand it and you have, for your people, safety. Safety is first.